Family Services Representative and Cemetery Site Coordinator Jenny Metelka and Grounds and Maintenance Supervisor and Assistant Family Services Representative Brian Mick. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning guys. Thanks for having us. Yeah, nice to have you guys here. Thank you. It is Jenny's 25th year at St. John's. That can't be possible. I know. I know. Oh I started when I was 12. <laughs> <laughs> what was your, what was your uh, first job there? Uh, well, years and years ago, I mowed um, the grounds. Did you? Oh. Yeah, and then came back in the office full time. So that marks the 25 years wow. in the office. Yeah. yeah. So That's, I'm a lifer. How about you, Brian? I'm 21. I'm That's right, right behind her. Amazing. Yeah. You guys have made a great team out there for so many years. Thank you. It's a, a love-hate love thing. <laughs> <laughs> we enjoy it. Yeah. I mean, it's difficult at times, but I think with Benny and Tom, also our groundskeepers, mm -hmm. we're just a, a tight-knit crew. We're more like yeah. a family out there, and yeah. you have For to sure. be. There's sure. a lot of stress sometimes, and yeah. you know, we just, we're a tight crew. So Memorial Day, obviously a uh, big weekend. Tell us what's going on. So we have Mass uh, Memorial Day morning at 9 o'clock in the morning outside at the cemetery's altar. Uh, bring your own lawn chairs for seating. All are welcome to attend. Um, in the event of inclement weather, we will move Mass to St. John the Evangelist Church. So at 8 o'clock in the morning, we'll make the call on that. And if it's iffy, we'll place a voicemail on our uh, answering machine just telling people to either go to church for Mass at 9 or if we're still going to have it at the cemetery. I know there's some rain in the forecast. Mm -hmm. How long have you guys been doing this Memorial Day Mass? It's our 67th, 67th year. year. Wow. Yep, yep 67th wow. year. And it's a beautiful way to have Mass outdoors with our loved ones who are buried um, at the cemetery, but more importantly, to honor the military men mm -hmm. and women who have lost their lives in the line of service to our country. How many uh, veterans uh, do we have at the cemetery? Uh, right around 22 to 2300. Wow. Give or take. Yep. Wow. Mm -hmm. wow. The most in Jackson County yeah. uh, are buried at St. John's Cemetery, and we're honored to take care of them. Are you uh, having um, any military or veterans participate in the Mass? We are. Uh, the opening ceremony will be provided by the Richard F. Smith Post Veterans, mm -hmm. uh, Post 29. They're going to open the cemetery before they um, go downtown. And then um, our Knights of Columbus 4th Degree, which is the Patriotic Division of the Knights of Columbus uh, in Jackson, they're going to provide the color core for Mass. And then following Mass, they're going to have a ceremony at our Fallen Soldiers Memorial down in Section 19, uh, commemorating the 80th anniversary of D-Day in the battles mm -hmm. at Normandy. Nice. The uh, uh, presiding uh, priest for this Mass? It'll be Father Chaz Kanoy. He'll be our main celebrant, but our other area pastors, Father McDonald and Father mm -hmm. Nelson, will be there. Um, and all the area priests usually come out for it, our associates as well. Mm -hmm. Will Father Chaz do the sermon? Um, I believe so. Okay. If he's celebrant, I believe he'll do the, mm -hmm. the homily. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We saw Father Chaz at the Masters. <laughs> this year? Yes. yes. Oh, how cool is that? Mm -hmm. it very nice. Yeah, it was very yeah. good. I know he's a golfer. Yes, he is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's so awesome. a lot of people want to, uh, you know, bring things to their loved ones, uh, burial sites, flowers, uh, trinkets. Do you guys have kind of rules and regulations? Yeah, or he's easy on the word trinkets. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, trinkets. There you go. Um, yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, uh, the cemetery rules are posted <laughs> at every entrance of the cemetery. So no matter how you come in, you can you can pass those. You can find them on our website. And if you really want the uh, stop by the office, we got a little postcard size. Yeah. We can wrap those up. But the main rule for summers is uh, uh, real or artificial flowers in a pot. You, you're usually safe. Okay. Nice. All right, all are welcome. Yeah. This this uh, Monday, Memorial Day at St. John, where do you park? There's parking in our parking lot behind the office and chapel buildings, but some people choose to park in the cemetery, like out in the grounds, uh, where their loved one's graves are located, and then they'll walk up to the altar area with their lawn chairs. Um, so that's an option too. There's usually plenty of parking. Get there early if you want a front <laughs> the row. Short answer is anywhere you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 yeah, get there early. The earlier you come, the better parking yeah. spot you get. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for all you guys do to set this up and uh, make the cemetery a great place for folks to uh, go uh, remember their loved ones. Thank you. It's a lot of work, and we got a great team to do it. So thanks, yeah. guys.
Brian Mick and Jenny Metelka from St. John Cemetery. More in the morning show after this.